a change going to come to Penn State University. And it's going to come soon. Old man is going to have to learn a new tune. And then they're going to have to dance to that tune also. And that tune is this. Vaccinate now. No more delay. Now is the time. Yeah, so we're here, we're trying to push the university and pressure the university to get a vaccine mandate for COVID-19 that's approved. And it's the only way out of this thing and it's the only way to protect students. We have nine other institutions in the Big Ten who have done it. And so we think that it's, it's, it is time, it's been time. Well, we're very disappointed at the university's overall response, uh -huh. particularly the Board of Trustees and President Barron. Uh, we think that they have really fallen, fallen down and fallen short of what uh, we consider to be uh, the leadership that we expect from the university administration. To implement a vaccine requirement. I think they've done a good job up to now with trying to keep everyone safe with last year mandating masks, but I think now they've been a little bit too lax and I think they are too worried about backlash and about losing money than they are about the health of everyone here. Last semester was pretty good. I know Zoom learning wasn't really fun for anybody, but it was to keep everyone safe, and I think that was a really good idea. And I like that now they are mandating masks in classrooms. I don't quite understand personally why we would mandate masks in classrooms and then have a full stadium of 100,000 people for football games without masks, and that's okay. And it doesn't seem like everyone's as worried about it as we are here. You look at the classrooms, it's shoulder to shoulder, no ventilation. Um, you know, people are, I'm uncomfortable. I'm, un I'm sitting in a 400 person lecture with no ventilation. Like really? The universities, it seems like they want, you know, just everything to go back to normal. And it's not normal. Nothing is normal yet. We still are not out of this. We want our community to be safe. It makes me really happy to see the crowd here. Um, obviously, I wish it was bigger. I always wish that, you know, the whole university turned out to support it. I see um, some of my own professors here today, some of my own classmates, and it's just nice to see that there's a community of people who uh, want to help the community stay safe. Well, ideally, I hope it encourages them to mandate the vaccine. Um, but at the very least, I hope that it shows how many people are concerned for the health and safety of everyone here. Well, we think that this is the process. Uh, this one uh, uh, event will not in and of itself change the university position. But we think gradually uh, that you know, clearly the science is on our side. Uh, clearly, we have the support of the, of the entire community, um, as demonstrated here and as demonstrated in uh, our correspondence with people through uh, CJU. Uh, so we're uh, expecting the university to eventually do what other universities have done, and that is to do the right thing and implement a vaccine mandate. The faculty are not going to let up. The alumni are seeing this. The parents across this nation who have students at Penn State are seeing this. The students are paying attention. The students are working with the faculty on this. The donors and the alumni, you know, whatever, they're going to pre they're going to start pressuring because people are dying. We just had um, a kid that I knew, one of my really good friends, knew very well, very personally, died of COVID. Um, and these are real people. And these professors have real kids who are under the age of 12 who can't get the vaccine. And so. The real thing is they could carry it home. They could carry it home and they could be killing the children. And that is not something that the university wants to be a part of. Penn State! Penn State! Penn State! Penn State!